Hello, everybody, and welcome to the lesson all about variables. So it's not just about variables that you're going to learn about, but a few more things as well. This lesson is going to talk about how to describe the purpose of an experiment and help you think about how to design the investigation to specifically test a hypothesis. You'll learn more about how to gather information and formulate a hypothesis based on the available information that you have. You don't want to just make a wild guess, right? You want to really think about what you're noticing and what is already happening and then make a well-informed hypothesis or a well-informed guess about what will happen next or continue to happen if you change something about the scenario. So what we're changing um, is what we're talking about today, the variable. Okay, so this is going to be the biggest one I want you to learn today, to identify independent and dependent variables, and then constraints, controls, and constants in an investigation. I want you to think about how you would write this step-by-step -step procedure for an investigation, okay? So here's your vocabulary today. Um, you're going to have a hypothesis, which is an if-then statement, so if blank, then blank. And this statement um, is what's going to propose a, po a possible answer to your specific question that you've asked. Okay. Then your constant. There's going to be a constant variable that scientists keep the same during every single trial of that experiment. Okay. So it has to remain the same because if it changes, we don't know if our results happen because this changed or that change. So we can only change one thing at a time. The constant variables always have to be the same. And then we can change other things to see what effects it has, okay? So the uh, control is the test designed to remove all of the variables from the experiment. So before we do anything, before we touch it, we, were, we run the experiment and just, that's the control. Okay, that's what is, um, removes all the variables so that we can learn a little bit about um, that and in the instructional video that's coming up next. Okay, so check that out. Okay, so now the dependent and the independent variables. So the independent variable, this is what the scientist is actually changing on purpose. Okay, the dependent variable is the factor that might change because you change the independent variable. So I'm just going to put this kind of with the picture that we have up on the board, um, an independent variable would be how much water I'm going to give to plants. I have three plants and I'm gonna give a medium amount of water to the first, a large amount of water to the second, and a small amount of water to the third. That's the thing that I'm changing. I am changing the amount of water given. What happens as a result of that might be the size of the plant, the number of leaves the plant had. Did it stay alive or did it die? So the dependent variable happens because of what I have done, okay? Now, as we mentioned before, a constant variable has to be the same. So that means that I have to give it the same amount of sunlight, all three plants. The same, um, all three plants should be the same type of plant, right? Um, it should have the same kind of soil and the pH in the soil, it should be in the same size pot, right? Because all of those things could affect whether or not the plant will grow, not just the water. So everything else has to be the same. I'm only changing one thing, the amount of water, I, independent variable. And then the dependent variable is uh, what happens as a result of what I do. Okay, so enough about those things. Um, the procedure is a way of doing something in specific steps, and then the subject is the individual whose reactions or responses are studied. So in this case, the, in, the subject would be the plant. Okay. So as you go through this lesson, make sure that you watch the instructional video that I mentioned before. You'll learn more about constants and controls there as well. Uh, you'll have another couple of videos to help you with the different types of variables. And then you have an activity that you will do over in Class Kick. Surprise, surprise. And that's right here. So this one, um, I want you to work through the gizmos activity here. This is the same one, the growing plants gizmo. 
and make sure that you record your answers here as you go through. As always, if you have any questions, just reach out. Thanks, guys.